Why don't we do something, huh? Yeah, but what should we do? Go down the slide again? I've got it. Why don't we try playing some sports? Great idea. It's been a long time since I went running, swimming, or done any exercise at all. Why don't we have a mini Olympics? We could create a track and compete against each other. Whoever wins will get crowned with a laurel leaf crown and will get a gold medal. Milo, you're the best. What a terrific idea. But you can't participate. You've got a sprained foot. Don't worry about me. I'll be the judge and Talala will help me from the sky. We'll get everything ready and then tell the others. Dear competitors of the first Happits official Olympic Games, the rules of the game are as follows. First, you have to run one lap around the track. Then, you must swim in the Olympic swimming pool. And finally, you will have to jump these hurdles until you reach the finish line. Talalo and I will be the judges. To make sure that none of you will cheat, and I'm talking about you, Rita. Today, I promise not to cheat very much. What do you mean, not very much? You cannot fool us, Rita. Understood. No cheating at all. The judges will be watching, and if we see any cheating, you will be eliminated. Nobody likes a cheater. On your mark, now everybody gets set. Ready? Go! What an action-packed race! This is gonna be a hard-fought battle. They've already run more than halfway around the track and are approaching the finish line. Mumu looks like she's the fastest up to now. She's got a clear advantage over the others. Olga and Alfred are even, and Rita is in last place. Now they've got to dive into the water. What a great dive by Mumu! Such style! Rita is quickly catching up with the others. They're reaching the end of the pool, and they're arriving all together. Who will win? Who will win? At the first hurdle, everyone is even. Third hurdle. Oh no! Mumu is tripped and has fallen behind. Alfred is in the lead. But what is this? Mumu is catching up at full speed. Yeah! <laughs> oh. 
and they reached the finish line. It was so close that we don't know who won. Everyone's exhausted. I won, I won, I'm the best. Rita, we need to see the photo finish to see who won. As soon as it's ready, we can see it. Here we go. And the winner of the first Happits Official Olympics is... Moo Moo! I'm the best of all. The fastest, the strongest. I'm the most incredible cow in the world. And the most tired cow. But the winner. Last night I had a really strange dream. I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. There was no money left since I had already bought so many things. So then a policeman came and This said, chatterbox won't stop talking. I don't even know what she's talking about. All the buttons in the store. And of course, how am I supposed to sew with this tight thimble and prickly needle? I hope we're heading home soon. It's almost tea time. Alfred, uh, huh? are you listening to me? I said, which one shall I buy, the blue or the green? I can't help you there. Sorry to tell you this, but you're very inconsiderate. The breeze is picking up. That cute little jacket I bought sure would come in handy now. Excuse me, Miss Giraffe. Would you like to dance with me? To dance? Hmm. Oh, no way. No, I don't dance. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sure you'll find someone to dance with you. Nobody will dance with me because I'm all alone. And when the wind blows, I'd like to dance with another flower. Today's your lucky day, little Miss Flower. I'm going to go get my friends now, and we'll come right back to help you. Really? Thank you so much. You're a nice giraffe. Well, yes, nice and elegant. I'll be right back. How's it going? Please, everyone, come here. This is really important. I've got to tell you something super important that just happened to me. I just forgot. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, let me think. I was with Alfred, telling him about my dream, and... Uh, oh, I've got it! I'll tell you about my dream. Well, I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting you, Rita, but what are you talking about? My dream? What's the matter? You want to hear it again? No, no, please don't. Once was more than enough for me. I thought you were going to help the poor flower that you met. Oh, yeah, the flower. I totally forgot about her. Olga, we've got to help move that flower to a new spot. Let's go and see that flower. Hello, Miss Flower. What's the matter? Nobody dances with me because I'm all alone. And when it gets windy, I just wish I could dance with somebody next to me. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to replant you right next to the other flowers so you can dance with them whenever you like. Thank you so much. You are all so nice. That's very easy. You just cut the flower and put it next to the others. No, 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 no. You can't do that. If you cut me, I would die in less than a day. You have to take me out of here by digging a hole in the ground right below me so that you don't cut my roots. Don't you worry, Miss Flower. I've been gardening for a long time, and I know just how to do it. Olga, pass me a shovel, please. I don't know where it is. I think we left it near the swings. Rita, could you do me a favor and go get the shovel? Yeah, right, since I've got nothing better to do. Please, go on, Rita. It'll just take a moment. We'll stay here and keep Miss Flower company. All right, I'll go. 
Let's see, now where do I find the shovel? Let me think. I believe it's under the slide. No, it's not under here. Maybe it's by the swings. Not here either. What bad luck. Uh, maybe, oh I know. It must be in the sandbox. Yay, I finally found it. I found it. It was right where I thought it would be. Okay, now I'm going to replant her. Hey, no way. I want to do it all by myself. She's my friend. But Rita, it's very complicated. If you do it wrong, the flower will die. Hmm. I don't want to discuss it with you. Either I do it, or the flower stays here forever. Milo, don't worry. I'm sure Rita will do the best she can. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. All right, as you wish. Rita, be very careful. You need to dig a hole just below the flower, but leave a little bit of space so that you don't cut the roots. Don't worry, this is easy as pie. Very easy. Slowly, slowly. I don't even want to look. Like that, well done. I've got it. See how easy? Very good. Now you have to put her with the other flowers. Very carefully, Rita. Thank you so much, my friends. Now I'm the happiest flower in the garden. And now let's all dance. Mumu, Talalo, come quick. We're all going to dance together. Pass it to me. Now to me. Now back to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. Huh? <laughs> Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? <whistles> Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. 
Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Appletree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Mr. Tree, he's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head, and these apples are so good. Um, mm, mm, mm. 